Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I am your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the darn thing today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is going to be your general love reading for the week. We're going from Monday to Monday. I always do uh, fire signs on Mondays. So please feel free to come back and always check them out on your day. Um, like I said, this is going to be general for you. So please keep in mind that general means not all of the messages are going to resonate for every single person. So take what resonates for you, Aries. Leave what doesn't. If nothing resonates at all here in your sun sign, check your moon rising Venus. And if those don't vibe for you, then feel free to check the older readings. I'm going to put your energy on this side over here and their energy over here. We're going to take a look at mutual energy and also what you don't see coming, okay? And any other messages from Spirit, including maybe some advice if they give it, okay? Um, so please feel free to reverse the energy as it fits you and your particular situation. Always use your intuition, okay, guys? If you want to follow me on social media, you can find that stuff down in the description box down below. And last but not least, if any of this is vibing for you, if I got it right for any of you, if any of it resonates, please show your girl some love. Exchange the energy by hitting the uh, smashing the love button and commenting and subscribing, all right? All right, let's see. Aries, what are you thinking and feeling about the person most on your mind, heart, and spirit right now? What are you thinking and feeling about the person that you're in a connection with right now? Show me how Aries feels about their person, please. Judgment. Ten of Swords. Four of Cups. What the hell? <laughs> Aries, do you want a second chance with somebody or is somebody, are you trying to, what, what happened here? Okay, show me how Aries person is thinking and feeling about Aries. That's so weird. This was like in the Leo read. Are you guys dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius? Show me how uh, Aries person is feeling about Aries. Okay, five of cups, the lovers, and the ten of cups. Ooh, okay, show me the mutual energy. Oh, God, guys, what the hell happened here? This is no bueno. Show me what Aries doesn't see coming. Show me what Aries doesn't see coming right now. Ugh. Okay. Uh, this is this is crazy disappointing. All right. So Aries, this looks like you are going through a really rough time with somebody or there's some sort of breakup that's happened. I feel like I'm going to start with your person this time because they have the five of cups, the lovers and the ten of cups. I'm going to clarify this as well. So I'm feeling like your person is feeling really sad. They might have some regrets over making a decision that had to do with possibly their own happiness. Okay. So it's quite possible that somebody chose to walk away from you here, Aries, for whatever reason. Um, you know, they left some type of like deeply spiritual connection with you. You could have like a twin flame thing where you guys kind of go back and forth. Okay. Okay. Um, in the mutual energy, there's a three of swords, there's pain, there's, there's agony. Somebody is holding back here or maybe not saying something. Both of you trying to be strong. Everything is fine. You guys are acting like everything's fine, but deep down there's some sort of betrayal or hurt here between the two of you. So I want to see what that is. Okay. A lot of weird vibes. Like I said, judgment, 10 of swords, four of cups, somebody here, Aries, uh, feeling like it's over, right? Maybe somebody wants a second chance. Maybe somebody wants to try again here, but um, almost feeling like maybe hopeless a little bit, okay? Four of Cups, like dwelling on the past, um, missing it. You might feel, Aries, like your person is missing it about you, right? And it's breaking your heart. Like they're making a an executive decision here, but you're just like, no, I'm trying to like, I'm sorry, I'm trying to hang on here. And, and you know, I, I want a second chance. I want to see where this is going. Now feel free to reverse this because that could be your person who really wants to have a second chance with you, okay? 
in what you don't see coming queen of pentacles in reverse six of pentacles somebody's really not interested in being in a committed relationship okay whoever or whatever this is it's like if you let this person back aries this person is just going to play the games again right uh queen of pentacles in reverse uh six of pentacles you know this is somebody you can't trust you know, somebody who's back and forth, somebody who's giving to another connection. And that can also be you, Aries. So always keep in mind that these readings, they go both ways, all right? I don't always look at the people, the sign I'm reading for as the good guys. You do you do dirt too, all right? You do dirt too, Aries, you know? You do dirt too. Maybe your person's walking away from you because you did something, all right? We don't know. Maybe you're walking away from them because they did it to you. Let's just see now. Talk to me about why Aries has judgment as how they feel right now. I feel like this is an awakening too, okay? I feel like some of you got a wake-up call, yeah. Okay, so there's something uh, you guys might be, um, you know, have a lot of anxiety, depression, stress, okay? I feel like some of you got a wake-up call here and you're releasing some of that energy, okay? You're releasing something that's been making you feel bound, trapped, Okay, what else? Why else do we have judgment? Yeah, four of cups in reverse. You don't want to miss something this time around, okay? I feel like you missed it before. I feel like you were stressed out. You had a lot of anxiety about maybe this connection before. But Aries, you're trying to let go of that right now where you know that you need to awaken, right? Awaken and let go of the negative thinking, the negative way of thinking. Okay, because you're missing things when you're thinking that way. Now, this could be your person. So like I said, feel free to reverse it. Why does Aries feel the Ten of Swords? Ace of Swords. This is, okay, after being really hurt or hurting somebody, you realize now that you really do want a relationship. Okay, King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. This is coming to a realization, all right? So Aries, this could be your person. They're waking up. They're like, oh shit, I lost Aries. I need to do something, okay? I'm reading this as your energy, but feel free to reverse it. So somebody is waking up here to the fact that they really want to be in a committed relationship and a connection, but it's not until they've either made, you know, tragic hurts or they've been tragically hurt somehow. I don't know. Why is the Four of Cups here, please, for Aries? The Empress in reverse, you know, not feeling very confident, feeling like there isn't much that you can do, right? Feeling like you don't bring a lot to the table. So somebody's confidence could have been shook here, right? They didn't have a lot of faith in the connection. Uh, maybe they have commitment issues, um, you know, not feeling like they, they can bring enough, okay? So I'm feeling a lot of that energy, but somebody's starting to get clear now that they are unhappy, that their life doesn't feel fruitful and beautiful without you in it, okay? Or maybe you're feeling that way. Let's talk about why they have the Five of Cups. Judgment. They also want a new beginning, okay? They also are having an awakening after uh, this heartbreak, okay? Feeling the sadness, this remorse with the Five of Cups. They've got judgment too. So the, the, it's like you guys are mirroring each other, right? Why do they have the lovers? Why do they have the lovers? Yeah, this person, they, okay, so they made a decision, right? Whoever this is, somebody made a decision here because it was too much. It was too heavy. There was too much going on. I feel almost like things weren't really shifting and changing, right? Could have been with the level of commitment. So somebody made a judgment call here, Gemini, the lovers, right? There is love. There is a connection, but somebody's doing what they feel is the right thing with the 10 of cups. Okay. So letting go of this old hurt, this old energy and moving into something new because your person, if this is your person on this side, they want something new. Okay. They may want a second chance. They may want a new start with you. Uh, but I feel like initially why they let go of this was because they felt that it was very heavy. It was a burden. Somebody felt this connection was a burden. All right. Why do we have the 10 of cups? Yeah, there's some sort of, um, 
you know, justice, okay? Justice, cutting off, uh, <laughs> this is interesting. I, I think that this person is cutting off a third party situation, okay? Either they're cutting it off to try to be with you or they're cutting it off with you because you had them in a third party, okay? And please feel free to reverse it. They could have, you could have, you know, they could have had you in the third party. But that's what I'm getting. Somebody just wanted to be happy. They don't want to have to deal with all of this, um, this restriction because they have some karmic contract with somebody because they have a commitment with somebody because that's what this is. It's about teamwork and stuff like that. But what happens? There's no I in team. It's something you do together. So, you know, being with another person in a state where you are living together, you're doing things together, you're creating something together, and then having justice there is kind of telling me that somebody could have been in a marriage. They could have been in some sort of you know, like I said, third party contractual karmic shit. Okay. So, uh, you know, this person really wanting to get out of it. Okay. Uh, I, I almost feel like this is your person. Like they were dealing with that and they wanted to get out of it. They made a decision. Um, they want to be with you, but this is tough because it's like somebody here was non-committal and I think it could have been your person you know, because they were dealing with something here, all right? Um, for others of you, it's going to be the other way around. Like I said, they weren't dealing with the third party you were, and they cut you off because they saw that you were not committing to them, okay, Aries? There's a lot of this third party, like, there's a lot of this happening right now. I don't even know why. Why is everything fine between the two of you? You're pretending, yeah, the high priestess, the truth is, is that you can't hide that. You're trying, you're both trying to hide that everything's okay, but you're not, you're not okay. Why do we have the three of swords? It's out in the open. Could be out in the open now. Three of swords. It's so weird because it's betrayal and heartbreak. And then there's this ace of pentacles. It's an offer. And I feel like this is wanting to try it again if that makes sense, but in a different way, somebody is like ready to commit now, right? After all of this fucking drama that happened between the two of you and a third party involved, now somebody's ready to commit. They were non-committal before. Why were they non-committal? Because they were in a third party situation or they had, you know, you had them in one or they had you in one, okay? Why do we have the strength card? It's like somebody's heart's broken, I feel like, because like now somebody's like, oh, but now I'll commit. It's like, dude, you just drug me through all the mud now. All right. Why do we have the strength card? Leo. So the signs I'm seeing the strongest, oof, definitely Leo, definitely you, Aries, with the fool. Okay. Both of you want a new start. Both of you want a new beginning. Both of you feel very much loyal to each other. Uh, you you find happiness and like rebirth and like awakening with each other in this connection okay so it's really odd it's you guys are going through some sort of disconnect to reconnect okay that's what it feels like it's a disconnect to reconnect because somebody wasn't wanting to commit and they and they couldn't commit so I, I honestly feel like somebody's letting go of a connection to try to commit to you, Aries, okay? Or the other way around. Um, we have pretty strong out here. We have Leo, uh, we have Gemini, we have uh, Aries. So you could be dealing with another Aries. We have, um, oh, we have Libra, okay? Why is the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles what Aries doesn't see coming? Okay. Somebody is still going to keep... Somebody is going... I feel like somebody is going to come back, but they're going to talk a good game. Five of Swords, Queen of Wands, okay? They, they want you and all of that good stuff, but they're they're really super passionate about having you. They're gonna talk to you to try to get you to be with them again, but they're still 
queen of pentacles this person wants a sexual connection okay they don't want a serious relationship there's still the six of pentacles this person with the five of of manipulation let's just call it what it is son five of manipulation all right five of swords this person gonna come sweet talk oh baby 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 right and still do the same shit still nickel dime you still make you pay for shit when you ain't got the money or whatever still go back and forth with somebody else still not commit to you right but they're gonna be like oh i'm all about you i feel the passion i feel the fire i want you i want you i want you right but look the queen of pentacles in reverse you cannot trust that person okay you can't trust them you cannot trust this person. Whoever this is, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure I do feel like this person had somebody else. You can't trust them. They do want to, like, get a second chance with you. I think they realize, like, they really fucked up. But I don't think this person has changed their ways, to be honest with you. Okay? And I would, I would, I would say that maybe there's been some hanky-panky on both sides. Okay, maybe there's been a little hanky panky on both sides. Maybe you both are in some sort of connection because I'm kind of picking up a lot of different weird stuff here, guys. All right, so let's see. I feel like somebody might be trying. I just saw the engagement ring. I feel like somebody's trying to end a connection to try to be with you, Aries. Okay, or it's the other way around. Somebody realizes like they do really want to be committed to you, but I think in the long run, this person doesn't really know how to be committed. Okay, like they're going to come back and try to offer and, and all of this, but the, it's just, it's just mind tactics, right? It's manipulation again. What else do we have here, please, for Aries? Here it is. Keys on a ring, stringing along, girl with a snake, addiction. Alrighty, I'm taking all three. Codependent obsession, possession, controlling has a block restraint. This for me is possessive and it's controlling. And I know it's not in the reverse, but I'm picking that up energetically with the queen of pentacles in reverse. This is somebody who wants to own the other person, right? Um, it, it, and not really commit, you know, they want to be in control of all the passion and the sex and the fun, but they're not willing to put forth the real effort. Okay, so somebody could have some sort of addiction here. It could be sex addiction, any kind of thing. Keys on the ring. They have a lot of options, decision, unconventional, stringing along one night stand. This person could have very well been stringing you along this whole time, Aries, you know, saying that they're going to leave their person to be with you and it just has never happened, right? And it's like if you give it a second chance, Aries, it's probably not going to happen again, okay? So keys on the ring. Just keeping you there like an option. All right, girl with the snake, empath and narcissistic, paradigm, being charmed or used, enabled boundaries, okay? So listen, people only use us because we allow them to, and I totally understand. I'm not saying anybody is, uh, you know, not with it. We can be easily uh, led astray. Let me put it that way. We, Because people will do a lot of things to get what they want, and this person can be really super charming. They know the things to say. They know how to do it. They know how to come at you. You know, um, and they know they like they like express that you're what they want. But then it's like they get you sucked back in Aries. And then the next thing you know, you become an option again. Right. You become that person with the five, the six of pentacles begging for, you know, to to get full attention. Right. From somebody who's just playing games. They're not going to give it to you. Right. OK. What else do we have? Please? Any other messages for Aries? strength oh that's so wonderful it's like the um it's like the strength card so this is about being strong right and it has a knife here so you know communicating what you're thinking and feeling being clear and direct with people um and also <clears throat> and also i feel like it's about cutting off the things that you don't need anymore okay like it's going to be time to cut this person off you might need this second thing the second time around with this person in order to really understand that this person still they're not physically showing you commitment they're showing you passion they're showing you fun physically but they're not they're not 
showing you what it takes to be in a relationship. Okay, this person is just, they're just games. They're just games again. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for being here. If any of this resonated for you at all, please smash the love button for your girl. Show your girl some love. Comment down below and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.